I'll be showing you this procedure of celiac plexus block now. So here, patient is lying prone. So this side is your caudal side and this side is your cranial side. This is your caudal side. Picture is your AP picture. So this is your L1. This is your 12th rib. And uh, this is your transosphosis of the L1. So these are the important marking to identify when we are doing the procedure. So first, AP view. And we need to have a true AP view. And this was a true AP view. Why? Because the distance between these and these are equal. So it was a true AP view. After that, what, what was our target? We need to go to in front of the L1 vertebra, in front of the aorta, where the celiac plexus is maximum. So after this true AP, then what we'll do? We'll do this end plate parallel. So now we have make a oblique to make this end plate parallel by a caudal tilt. After that, what we'll do? We'll be doing left-sided oblique. So we are doing left-sided oblique. See, CRM is, now we'll be doing the left-sided oblique. So that the transverse process will be shorter and shorter and finally will be getting obliterated. So now you see, okay, we are oblique. So you see transverse process is shorter and it is getting almost obliterated. So at this point, you see the position of the CM that uh, transverse process is almost vanished on the left side. And we can imagine a triangle there with the 12th rib and the lateral border of the vertebral body and putting a line here. And then at the middle of this triangle, we'll be going inside the, uh, putting the needle there. So, taking the screen in the middle. So now, this is the area. We're adjusting to bring the screen at the middle of area of the interest in the middle. So now it is in the middle. So now you will be putting a scale there. You will be putting a drawing a line along this lower border of the L1. So this scale, lower border. So this is the triangle. And this middle of this triangle is our needle entry point. So that is our needle entry point. So that is our needle entry point. We'll be going by the tunnel vision. We are going by tunnel vision. Now it is perfect tunnel vision. You see the position of the CRM also. And at these positions, we'll be going lateral. So lateral, our needle is just anterior to the vertebral body, anterior border of the vertebral body. We are going still anterior. And now we are giving dye. And you can see the aortic pulses in there. And the dye is going along the aorta. So now these, you can see the two border of the aorta. And this hypoechoic area, this is your celiac trunk, this is your mesenteric artery. And the dye is going on the either side. And initially, the blood was coming. And then we have introduced the needle further. And uh, then the dye, the blood has vanished. So this is your celiac trunk. This is your mesentery artery. So at this position, again, we are going, and this is the outline of the aorta. And at this position, our needle is just in between the celiac trunk and the mesentery artery in front, going through and through the aorta. And now at this position, we'll be giving local anesthetic. And after that, we'll be giving the alcohol and take the needle out. So dye is getting vanished because we have given the local anesthetic. And before giving the alcohol, again, we have injected a little bit of more dye. And to see that we are in the right position. And then finally, we are giving alcohol. Once we have given alcohol around 20 cc, and we take the needle out.
So this is the modified technique when we can go through and through the aorta in front of the aorta and it has a better success rate. Okay. Any questions?